All right, good morning, 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 morning. If I can speak properly. Thank you for the for the biddies, appreciate it. All right, so <laughs> after I streamed yesterday, and I was downloading it to uh, put it out on YouTube where I archive all my streams. I see that uh, Mr. Hurricane's doing a Cardinals franchise this year as well. So all I can say is I got mine in first. So <laughs> that'll be a nice, nice parallel to see uh, what he does with the team compared to what I do with the team. What's up, KD? Since he's not a Cardinals fan, um, it'll be It'll be interesting to see uh, how he uh, tears down and rebuilds the roster. How you doing, Katie? Here, let me get you a shout out. Um, go check out my man, Katie. He plays at MLB and NCAA. Seth, do you stream at all? I'll shout you out and find out. No. Okay, well, thanks for coming in anyway. I gotta sneeze, hold on. Sorry. Thankfully, I have a cough and sneeze button on my microphone now. <clears throat> Allergies are kicking my ass right now, so that's why I'm all stuffy. Anyway. So let's uh, review real quickly. We went 16 and 17 for the end of March and all of April. You can see we've given up more runs than we've scored. And uh, we're only 500 team at home. And uh, we're doing about as well as I expected with the pitching that we have. Um, Goldschmidt at one point had three home runs and four RBIs. So he's kind of turned up his RBIs. <laughs> Gorman's doing fine. Edmund rebounded. Uh, Jordan Walker's got a lot of home runs. We got to get that average up. Uh, Contreras is doing okay. Arenado, the only thing worse on him is his average. It's good power numbers. Just got to get his average up. Carlson's trash. And so, yeah. Um, pitching wise, Matt's had an ERA below two at one point. Uh, so did Gibson. He had it below three. So. Yeah, pitching's doing decent, I would say. Our relief pitching, Zach Thompson, he got lit up once in long relief, so that's why his ERA is so bad. I don't know why Gallegos at 750 and Helsley at 871 are pitching so badly. I mean, I know why they are. They're giving up, uh, Gallegos is giving up home runs. But um, I, I don't, I don't understand. They're really good rated, so... Uh, you can see the Cubs are in first. I had that Brewers fan in here complaining that I was talking up the Cardinals and Brewers going to win the division. Well, in the sim, it uh, doesn't like the Brewers. <clears throat> Dodgers have 25 wins to lead the National League, lead all of baseball. And you can see we're two games out of the wild card. So we're, we're not going to tear down this team. We're going to see if we can sneak into the wild card or not. If we're like five games out as we get to the end of July, then I'm going to start trading guys off. Not big names necessarily. I might trade Goldschmidt um, and Dylan Carlson, but guys like Brandon Crawford and Matt Carpenter are guys that we can get some sort of prospects for. Nothing spectacular, but we need to uh, build up this minor league system as well. So whatever we can get. Um, let me see if I can show you this. I did look at some... Um, I did look at some trades. <clears throat> I, I, if I want to make this trade, <laughs> I can get Logan Gilbert and Harry Ford from Seattle. And if I want to make this trade, I can get Todd Bradley, Shane Baz, and Yandy Diaz from the Rays. And if I want to make this trade, I can get Dylan Lesko... Ethan Salas and Joe Musgrove from the Padres. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy what the game will let you do. <clears throat> so give me the two best players in the minors for San Diego, plus their best pitcher at the major league level. <laughs> Where are they at standings-wise? Yeah, see, they're, they're terrible. 
So they wouldn't want to trade off their prospects. They'd want to get prospects, right? So that's another thing. We got to look at who is in competition for playoff spots. And we can trade with all of those guys and division leaders in both leagues, right? But we don't want to be trading veterans off to the Tigers to steal their prospects. So this whole division's up. Um, it's basically these two guys here and... We'll see how this plays out. Red Sox may fall off, but the rest of this division should be open for business. So that's that's a couple of uh, streams down the road. Um, <clears throat> scouting wise, um, if you didn't see last time, let me move my camera here for a second. Put it up here. So we're going to look at this Daryl Benedict dude. Um, I don't think I would take him at number seven. But I'm going to scout hitters anyway because he might jump up. He's got that 65 to 99 potential. His overall could be anywhere from 49 to 83. So he could be one of those that scouts really good. And next thing you know, he's like a top 10 player and we would consider him. Uh, he's got good power, defense, and some speed. So he's well-rounded. <laughs> so we'll take a look at him. Um, this is the last week for us to scout international starting pitchers and... We are still discovering central pitchers. Um, we're going to do central next because um, this number one pitcher who looks like a generational pitcher yeah, is uh, from Indiana, so that's in the central region. So we'll get him up to like 80% scouted. Actually, he might be 100 since he's 19. Uh, we'll get him scouted up in five weeks. So we'll know how good he is. Um this guy's a closer. He's the East. This is another central pitcher. Um, any other pitchers? What is this guy? He's a central pitcher. He's central. So we'll get some more guys scouted that are in the top, you know, 30 picks or whatever. <clears throat> so. Um, did I set my trade block? Yeah, I have Goldschmidt, Carlson, Crawford, Carpenter. As we get closer to the trade deadline, I'll add Lance Lynn and Kyle Gibson because I have no intention of re-signing those guys. It really depends on how we're doing. If we're still in contention, I'm not going to trade them. We'll play it out. But if if we're uh, in last place and not close to the uh, wild card, we'll start shipping guys out, which is not what the Cardinals usually do. We're really passive at the trade deadline we like to go get players to help us when we're winning but we don't like to sell off players when we're losing our front office is a mess and after the season i'm firing our manager um <clears throat> i can't stand this piece of shit arlie marmol in real life the guy is a garbage manager and i don't care that he has four years left i'm firing his ass <clears throat> <clears throat> all right let's get into the calendar so you can see we simmed some of these games so that we could get to the next week of uh, scouting. <clears throat> so um, I told Franchise Gaming we would play a game against the Mets. Um, and then I want to play against Trout. And then it'll either be home game against the Cubs or go to Cincinnati. Kind of just depends on how I feel at the time. But So we'll play this day game. Who's pitching? Gibson. We pitched with Gibson. Maybe we pitch with Lance Lynn instead against Kodai Senga. Play the night game. Let's do that. We'll do that. All right. We're going to get started. And we get shut out. Eric Fetty. <clears throat> Michaelis. At least Gallegos pitched okay. If we can get him going, that would greatly help our bullpen. All right, let's go ahead and play this game so we get another pitcher and we're not doubling up on pitchers right away. <clears throat> I don't like the black uniforms for the Mets. I really can't stand them. We're going to have them wear that with the road pants. Do you have one with an orange bill? I have that one. That's the BP. Yeah, we'll just go with that alternate home. <clears throat> And 
Let's throw, wear a throwback. Let's wear something different. Oh, wear these. 1942. <clears throat> Hope we don't let the Marlins get their first wins. Yeah, it's... Uh, we got to keep the ball in the ballpark. We have a park that doesn't give up a lot of home runs, but it's it's a it's a cold, rainy kind of day, KD, so the ball's not going to travel like it will in the summertime. <clears throat> That's why I got a hoodie on. <laughs> um it's it's kind of a a chilly nasty day. I think it's only going to be a high of 51, so um it's going to be difficult for anybody to hit the ball out. Now watch we'll see like six home runs after I say that. <clears throat> there you go. Man, hold on a second. This the sound in this game is just so loud. In the season. In the season. It's a little bit better. It's got that duplication again. Why is it doing that? Monitor is off. Turn the sound down. I don't know why it's duplicating like that. Ever since the last update, the sound has just been kind of jacked. It might be picking it up through my microphone. So let me, the yeah, monitor is off. Let me see if the capture device, monitor off. Microphone, monitor off. I don't know why it's duplicating. It shouldn't be picking up any extra sound. I can't tell you why it's doing the double sound. I don't know. We're just going to have to live with it. no idea why it's doing that and I can't fix it so we'll just live with it it's the stupidest thing every time Streamlabs comes up with an update they fuck something up you would think you would test something before it goes live but they don't like to test anything so There we go. <clears throat> if we trade away Goldschmidt, I might. It depends on what we do in the offseason. Drop, drop, drop. Throw a fair. Yes, a fair ball. It's a ground rule double. Um, it's very possible I just move Donovan to first base and leave Gorman at DH. If we get, a, we get a center fielder, I can move Tommy Edmond back to second. Um, my dogs just came down. What are you guys upset about? Go lay down. <coughs> These pitchers and their uh, hockey goalie glove saves, man. <laughs> What we could do is sign Pete Alonzo if he wants less than 20 mil. Unless they happen to re-sign him. 
Go. Come on, Donnie. Get in there. All right. On the board first. Unlike last episode, I actually played Diamond Dynasty before I went live, which is why I was later than I expected. Yesterday I said I was going to start at noon, and then I posted on Discord I was going to start closer to 10. And then I split the difference and started a little after 11. There's a... Uh, there's an award in the game if you win by 24 runs or more in a game. So I was grinding Diamond Dynasty against the Rockies, and I beat them 38 to nothing. So that's why I was late. <laughs> you score that many runs, it kind of takes a while, even on Rookie, to get the game over with. I got a new Mitch Haniger card for uh, Tops now, and he hit five home runs, a single, and a double in that game. Try to get up there and get that. All right, here we are. One run lead. <clears throat> one run lead after one. Lance Lynn has two shutouts already in the sim. Ball one. Ball one. He is starting opening day today for the Cardinals in real life. A home opener. They asked him about it. He's like, I never got to uh, start opening day when I was here before because Adam Wainwright was uh, greedy and would take all of them. He's got a, he's got a very dry sense of humor. Fielding in this game has just been... I don't know why our guys can't throw the ball to the cutoff guy. They they air mail it or they bounce it. I don't understand what's going on in the, the fielding in this game, but it's atrocious. There's one. There's two. And we're out of that jam. This guy in the sim, if you just play, you know, sim the games and don't play them, he uh, regularly will put up 40 and 50 home runs. So you got to be a little patient with him. His hitting will come around. Ah, don't swing the garbage. That would be helpful. Where's your ghost ball? There it is, Ray Slur. Way out in front. All right, Jordan. There we go. He just needs base hits to get that average up. <clears throat> Beyond this, the uh, wall out here, let me show you something here. Uh, I gotta wait till it plays over. All right, so I told you last last time that building directly behind Cardinals Nation with the uh, like the picnic table little umbrellas up there. That's the building my wife works in. But where it says Steakhouse on the back side of that, there's a uh, Mexican restaurant that has excellent tacos. Oh my god, my wife took me down there on a Saturday just to have the tacos. If you ever come to town, Ballpark Village has has uh, several restaurants and bars and shit in there. So, ah, just early. <clears throat> and that white building right there is a parking garage, and there's another one over here behind the uh, left field corner. So 
There's plenty of parking downtown. Yeah. All right, need to focus a little bit better on hitting here. Trying to go out and get that before it broke. It's okay. This guy's got some filthy shit. Oh, you thought that was going to be a fastball, didn't you? Lance Lynn throws like 80% fastballs in real life, so. It's kind of why he gives up home runs, because he just challenges guys. Looking for Francisco Alvarez as their catcher. He's injured right now. I was looking at injuries earlier. There we go. He's shaking his head for us. Easily in the zone, dude. Tommy Two Bags. That's his nickname. It's a lot of doubles. Ooh, I reached and it cut back. It was way out here. I was reaching out here and it came in over here. Let's just stay right here. Wait for that pitch to get to me. Tommy's currently injured and we don't know when he's going to be back because he had wrist surgery. And even when he gets back, he's not going to hit very well for a while until that wrist gets strong. I know for a fact, after breaking my wrist in two places, how long it takes for you to get that strength back. It's been two and a half years since I uh, was in an accident, and uh, it still really hurts when someone aggressively shakes my hand. It's like, uh, no, I'm going to knuckle bump, otherwise I'm going to kick you in the nuts. Hey, I'll take that walk. That's his steal. 73. We'll take a pitch just in case he does a slide step. Nope. Now we're going to go. Get it there, Tommy. Out. It's a good throw. Right on the bag. Nothing I can do about that. That would have been first and third if I don't steal. But that's all right. Donovan's another dude. He's a little older. He's 27. But in the sim, he'll, uh, he'll regularly hit 290s, 300s. Might even lead the league in hitting one year. Doesn't have a lot of speed. He can play every position except catcher. So if you want to trade for a utility guy that can play every day but play a bunch of positions, that's your dude. And he hits lefties well as a lefty. I would do some player locks on our prospects in the minors, but our pitchers, our best pitchers, are only like 66 overall. And, uh, nah, shit. So we had a bad pitch and double play. Um, there's no point. Um, if we get a good guy in the draft, we'll go player lock with him next year. I mean, we should. There's six starting pitchers and at least one hitter. Um, on my short list, unless we discover more, because you can always discover more. Um, and we pick seventh, so we should get one of those guys. Ooh. So whoever we get in the draft, we'll definitely play a lock them next year. I wish it would let you send those guys to the minor leagues. 
um, after the draft like they do in real life. And we could actually play with them right now, but they make you wait until the off season to actually have them on the roster. Throw it. There we go. Clip the corner. Got like that. Got him. There we go. All right. Through four. Game's rolling right along, man. Making progress pretty quick. <clears throat> I will not be streaming um, Cardinals tomorrow. I stream anything, it'll be uh, the Raging Cajuns uh, football, but I'm not sure I'll even do that. I gotta get, I gotta get some studying in for this bookkeeping course that I'm taking, and I'm uh, only about a fourth of the way through, so I need to pick up this, pick up the pace. Because after I get done with this and I go take the test, the final test. I gotta pay 150 bucks for. Um, then I have to go take another class on being an expert in QuickBooks. Come on, Nolan. Ah. Swung over it. He's got enough of that one. Don't know. Don't know. Nope. QuickBooks is a bitch. Yeah. Well, I'm going to uh, get that certification so I can actually uh, work for Intuit and be an online uh, bookkeeper advisor. So basically, people will send you all their shit and you do all the books for them online. <clears throat> Man, I'm hitting all these high fly balls. Um, yeah, or I can just get a, a job with an individual company and do their books. There was a country club not far from where I ref some uh, volleyball games for high school that needed an um, assistant accountant, associate, it was like a number two. I was like, hey, I could do that. Work at a country club, get free use of the golf course, that would be awesome. <clears throat> All right, stringing some hits together, but we've only got one run so far. Oh, man, thought that was going to be down in the corner. And we do have some speed, so if we get one to the gap, I'll be sending Walker. Ooh, way out in front. Good pitch. That's that ghost ball, that fork ball he throws. Trying to fight that shit off. I don't want to take strike three. Welcome in, Rocky. No, I didn't. I was trying to hold up, and I flinched, and we struck out. <coughs> get guys on and can't get them in. This guy is making 20 mil a year for like the next six years. I do not know what the Mets were thinking. It's not worth 20 mil a year, that's for sure. Why would you highlight the left fielder on a ball that's all the way into center field? <clears throat> That's triple's alley there. You got speed, that's going to be a triple. 
Same thing with right center. Or by the two bullpens. Clip the corner, got the call. There we go. I thought he was gonna throw that away. go there we go dodging bullets as Mike Shannon would say oh Abner's done it again Wynn makes a great play on defense and he leads off the next inning happens way more often than you think you gotta quit swinging at shit on first pitches no pitch I don't have to swing I'll take that and yank it foul see where that show 24 sign is on the wall there's a right here That's a little walkway for them to come in and out. And when they do opening day and they, they come out in uh, either trucks or Corvettes or whatever, and they go around the outside on the warning track, that's where they come through. The Clydesdales come through. So that's a little hidden entrance onto the field. And the top of the bleachers over here, those bleachers over there, the top is uh, street level. So the, the stadium sits below the street level. Ah! Didn't know you were getting Cardinal trivia, did you? Son of a bitch, that pitch is just filthy. It looks like a fastball, and then it just dives. I thought that was a high fastball, and I wasn't even close. Not only was I early, I was way above it. Man, no good contact. Too many pop-ups and fly balls. Got him.
He went. Ring him up. Come on. There we go. Six Ks. We'll take that. Rolling right along. Offense needs to get uh, more runs, man. One nothing is one bad pitch away from being a tie game. Oh, there we go. Goldschmidt. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. There it is. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up on the screen. <laughs> Go into the bullpen or over the bullpen? Over the bullpen. I've sat there before. Got Max Scherzer was pitching for the Nationals. And we uh, we were watching him do his pregame long toss and stretching and stuff right out there in front of the bullpen. I had consecutive games I went to one year where he saw DeGrom and Scherzer pitch for the other team. Oh, way out in front of that fork ball. That's a nasty fucking pitch. Oof. Gave it to me right down the pipe on the first pitch, and I was under it and late. Gonna get down. It's gonna be extra bases. There it is. Missed it. We're only gonna get a double because he doesn't have the greatest speed. <coughs> I'll take the extra base hit though. All right, Jordan. Let's go. Your turn. Trying to drive that to right. There we go. Mm, tardy. It's tardy on that pitch. Should have drove that. <clears throat> Good pitch. Into my hands. All right. Well, we got one. So now they have to get a guy on base to tie the game. <clears throat> Oh, that's 
Lance Lynn throws a shutout. He's going to be on the thumbnail. Yeah. Perfectly placed between those two. Trying to see if my monitor has a speaker and that's what's causing the duplicate. I think it does. God damn it. Foul, thank you. Son of a bitch. And of course, Walker takes a false step, which makes it go all the way to the wall. They're going to score two runs because the stupid mechanic in this game, which makes them go the wrong way. They don't step the wrong fucking way on a ball hit to the outfield. You see a ball hit over the third baseman's head, you're not going to take a step towards center field. Look at this. Fucking game is garbage. Oh, Mason Wynn goes deep. Yes. First home run with Mason Wynn on stream. There we go. Damn. That was a, that was a tee shot. Look at that thing. Yeah. All right, Tommy. God 
damn, everything is underneath. I'm popping everything up today. Where is he at? 87 pitches. Yeah. We'll let him go one more inning. Get in trouble this inning. We can go to the bullpen. <coughs> All right, one down. Jam shot. There we go. Two down. Why is that not the shortstop or third baseman chasing that ball? That's ridiculous. That is not the left fielder's ball. Look at this shit. That is not the left fielder's ball. Come on, game. I'm hitting. And Newt Bar takes a step the wrong direction. It's called lazy programming. All right, Goldie. You can get another one. Ooh, almost. A little early. Foul that off. Stay alive. play. Thank you. <clears throat> oh. I was a hanger and I was way early. And I was trying to wait and drive it to right and I whiff. All right. Come on, Lars. Man, that was 
That was a drivable pitch, and we flailed away. All right, off to the ninth. We're going to leave Helsley and see if we can get his shit straightened out. Kept that in the park. <clears throat> Speaking of keeping it in the park, a little bit better defensive player out there in left field. Two down, up to Frankie Lindor. Got to get him out. There it is. Good throw. Game over. There it is. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Need to get uh, a couple of photographs for possible uh, <coughs> Let's see, Goldschmidt home run. All right, enough of that. Box score. Donovan, two hits. Goldschmidt, home run. Newt Barr with a hit. Gorman, a hit. Walker with two. Mason with a home run. Helsley gets a save. Hopefully that'll get him straightened out, so... <clears throat> and uh, gets us back to one game under 500. All right. So we're going to go play one of these games against the Angels. And then we'll either do the Cubs or the Reds. So 13 to nothing. Wow. Three hitter. Quintana got Hauser, Adams. I'll get lit up. Five for six for Tommy Edmond. Three for five for Carlson. Four for five for Gorman. Four for five for Carpenter. And they put in Brandon Crawford. I wish they would quit doing that. Edmund Gorman and Carpenter with home runs. Sonny Gray with a three-hit shutout. Wow. And then we get shut out 3 nothing. Manaya. Two hits for Carlson. Back to one game under 500. Let me save this so we don't lose the game we just played. All right, and then we beat the Brewers. Donovan, six, four for six. Why is Edmund leading off? 
Four for six, three hits for Arenado, three hit, three hits and six RBI for Mason Wynn, who had a home run. Matt's pitched okay. Wow. And then we win 12 to two. Three more hits for Goldschmidt, five RBI. Win two runs, two RBIs, and four runs scored. Home runs by Goldschmidt, Contreras, and Wynn. Michael has pitched great. Wow. Wow. All right. They want to trade me Selvi, Se Sebi Zavala. What's Sebi yet? Yeah, they don't need a 30 year old catcher. Um, we lost six to two. Goldschmidt with a home run. Lynn got pounded. Bowers and Monasterio with home runs. Steel Hall pitch well. All right. Save again, and then we're going to go look at our scouting. <clears throat> wish, wish Fiend was in here. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. All right, so this guy isn't as good as we were hoping, but sometimes they get worse before they get better when they're 18 year olds. So we'll leave him on there until he's done. Found four more pitchers in the central region. We're looking for, see how he has NR for draft rank. That's what we want to see, but we want to see like that green bar be very far to the left because we just discovered these guys. So let's see if we can find No, uh, they found relievers. That's what they found. And then none of them are good. <clears throat> All right. So now we can switch this to central, and we'll get that stud number one overall guy. So we've got Clinton Tharp as the number two guy on our board, fully scouted. Hits per nine and control are a little... Eh, but strikeouts and walks and stamina are good. Four pitch mix. So he's probably going to be a high B, low A potential and be high 60s, low 70s. This guy's number three on the list. He'll probably be right around 90. No, 89, 90, I guess, potential. Real close to 70 overall. His problem is hits per nine. Everything else is really good. Doesn't walk anybody. Doesn't give him a home run, so that's good. Good stamina. Another good option. This guy will have to do individually if you want to see him. Um, this guy will get scouted. Um, where's number one? Yeah, so Boyle and Fagan will get scouted on this next time through because they're in the central. We'll have to finish him off later. His per nines are not great. And this guy doesn't strike anybody out. There's another central. He'll get scouted. He'll get scouted. These guys are east. He's central. He's east. There's another central. Yeah, so... We got a few guys to pick from here. That'll be good. That'll be really good. Catching this guy, he'll probably be somewhere around an 80 overall and a 70 overall. So he doesn't have very much upside. <coughs> he's like usable right now, but not not for. He's not going to get much better. So I don't really want to take him because he's not going to start. I want to take him as my first pick. Um. Probably have no shot to get this guy. This guy's not that great. Um, I wrote down some names as I was just going through this list. Like this guy, we could possibly look at him and see if he goes up enough that you could consider him with the first pick because we definitely take a center fielder. Hanson, he's uh, for a later, and he's probably not great. Um... Sellers is someone we could look for later. Definitely a good hitter, not much power. Um, and we're still looking already at, at the uh, Benedict dude. Two shortstops. I was looking at Domingo and Parks, this guy. 
we could look for those guys because that would give us somebody maybe to pick in the third or fourth round if we don't take a pitcher. So, anyway, so we're going to finish scouting Benedict. We're still discovering in the central. Um, three more weeks. This week and two more, and then we'll kick over to start discovering hitters. So, that's where we are scouting-wise. Goldschmidt, Gorman, Edmund, Donovan, Walker. Arnado still struggling with his average. Mason Wynn up to five home runs already. He went nuts since we used him. These two guys are dragging up the rear. Pitching's been better, much, much better than I expected. Um, except for Gallegos and Helsley. So. All right. We're going to split the series or win the series with Milwaukee. And we win the series. Donovan, two hits and two runs, or two RBI. Newt Barr, three for five. Walker, two for five. Home runs by Donovan and Walker. Sonny Gray pitched well. Helsley gets a save. All right, Gibson, Matz, and Michaelis. Jabba, what's up? Yeah, I'm going to um, probably trade Goldschmidt, although he's a free agent at the end of the year. So it kind of depends on where we are in a playoff race. Well, once we get to the end of July, we'll see where we are because I can move Donovan to first. Um. Arnado, I don't really have a replacement for. We'll keep him around a little bit longer because he's got a longer deal. Um, but I wouldn't be opposed to trading him later. Um, we got to get some younger pitching in on this team. So whatever I trade for needs to be either a replacement at first or third, or it needs to be um, either semi-young starting pitcher we can throw in the rotation right now, or a stud prospect that'll be up in a couple of years. But yeah, Goldschmidt, I'm not opposed to trading away. <clears throat> All right, so looks like we're going to play this game with Steven Matz. I think he's the only pitcher we haven't started with so far. So, And we win 14-4. to four. Home run by Tommy Edmond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven doubles in that game. <laughs> seven doubles. Four hits for Edmond, four hits for Gorman. Gibson just pitched well enough. Who did we bound? Sandoval. Man, that whole bullpen, everybody got lit up. Looks like Trout had the day off. Unless he's hurt. If he's hurt, I'm not going to play against the Angels. So let's go look at the injuries. No, not hurt. He just had the day off. Who else is hurt? Geloff is out. He'll be back soon. <coughs> DeGrom, a little bit dinged. Alvarez is still out one to two months. That's why he wasn't batting against us. Terang's out. J1 Bay's out. Bo Naylor is out. Riley Green. Reagans. Lugo. Wow, the Royals lost their half their rotation. Jose Altuve is out. Wow. All right. So let me save here before we go play this game. Save our progress. <clears throat> Let's look at we're five games out of the division and we're in the wild card race. So I can't trade Goldie if we're in the wild card race. All right, Steven Matz. City Connect. Yeah, I don't want to play the City Connect. Now, what we will do 
is play with their old uniforms. Where's their alternates? We'll take that. That way the belt's not all jacked up. Road, road, road. Road. Let's wear these. Overcast. Thank God. This is another stadium. If it's really bright, sunny, you can't see the ball from the uh, batter's eye. <coughs> there you go. Trout's hitting 331. If you guys have trouble when you're playing the game seeing uh, those pitches, just turn it to overcast and that'll get rid of the glare. Because if it's sunny, it comes right out of there and you can't see it. Ah, swung way over the top of that. Jeez. Filthy splitter, man. Looks like a fastball and just falls off the table. It's got a splitter, a sinker, and a cutter. Jesus. <clears throat> These are the uniforms the Angels should be wearing. Battling. I know we have an echo on the uh, game plan. I can't get rid of it. I had it yesterday. We got rid of it, and now it's back. So I don't know. Oh, I swung under it. God damn it. It's right down the middle. got that one but that's going to stay in the park all the way to the track almost to the wall hit that a little better than I thought Got him. There we go. Get out of that jam. All right. Trout up with nobody on base. Mike and just see if that echo goes away. Oh. 
Nope. Echo. I don't know what it is. It's something in in uh, Streamlabs. Keep playing with it to figure out what it is. All right, Nolan. No, oh, just missed down the line. So we had it taken care of because I turned off uh, monitor output, but it uh, came back today. Get through, get through. There we go. Gorman's up to 286. Gotta love that. I'll take anything north of 260 with this guy. play because I reached for it. Almost in the center of my PCI, it's a weak fly ball. I still say they nerfed hitting this year. Got him. <clears throat> Moniac's a good player against righties if you can get a uh, a platoon guy that kills lefties. Apparently none of my pitchers can field. I said runner, runner, runner on last pitch, but they didn't tell me runner, runner, runner on this pitch. Thanks, guys. Don't tell me he's stealing. <clears throat> Why is Arnado so fucking horrible at third base? He doesn't react to anything. And why is we why are we throwing the All I'm doing is throwing it to the cutoff man. What the fuck? That's like four times last stream and this stream combined where we can't throw a ball to the cutoff man.
it's not like his reaction is is uh, twenty. I don't know why Arnado can't get any ball down a third base line. That's out of play. Fucking foul balls. There are entirely too many foul balls in this game, and I haven't turned down some because it's atrocious. God damn. Of course, we can't field. Welcome to MLB The Foul Ball. <clears throat> I start taking more pitches. Longer. Look at that center cut. That was very early. My timing is down. That ball's out of here. And then I chase that bullshit because I'm impatient. Damn. Out of sync today. Out of sync. He can't get to anything. What the fuck? Jesus, I think we have enough foul balls in this game. It's 
Another ball that Arnado cannot get to. This is a platinum gold glover. Platinum glover, gold glover. He can't field one fucking ball. And Contreras is fucking dog shit behind the plate, too. fucking paint the bottom of the corner just to get a strike out in this game. Look at this shit. Nobody can feel the ball. get a good pitch to hit right at him So early. That was a home run. Damn, hit your fucking zone, let's go.
Man, this is boring for me too, guys. Fucking boring. Pop up. Nobody can field. Can't drive a ball anywhere. That's going to get caught. At least it wasn't double play. Get through. There we go. his head get over his head yes there we go ah hopped over the yellow line or that have been two runs Donnie, let's go. Swung where it was, not where it ended up. Oh, that's out of here, boys. That's gone. Go, go, gone. Yes. <laughs> Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. <coughs> well, hanger. Got all that one. First perfect, perfect of the day. Yeah. Big five run inning. See if we can get Mats through this inning so he qualifies for a dub and get him out of the game. He's only at 77 pitches. He's already tired. batter. Of course, it's Trout. Luckily, it's not a one-run game. <laughs> 
So apparently Goldschmidt and Arnato, both gold glovers, can't field ground balls. They can't move more than half an inch and dive and miss a ball. Fucking defense in this game is atrocious. And that's a home run. He actually caught the ball. What do you know? Jesus. Get through, get through, get through, get through, get through. Nope. It's too slow. Ball was too slow, runner was too slow. Fucking way early on these pitches. Get my revenge on all those foul balls they had off Stephen Matz. Here we go. Finally, one I can handle. <clears throat> Come on, Nolan. Ooh, just missed it. Look at that. It's center PCI. It says just late, and it's just a lazy fly ball. <coughs> Back in the day, you could just hit tanks all day long being just late, and they changed the, uh, the hitting physics and basically broke hitting in this game. Everybody's a gold glove except the gold glovers on my team. What do you know? Easy ground ball fields. Cats and dogs playing together. And that's a double. Let me see. Cut that off quick. Should have turned two, but I was worried about him throwing the ball in the left field because you never know where you're going to throw the ball in this game on defense. Come on, Walker. Your attention, please. Now, 
Got that little hitch. A little hitch in his giddy up there. A little double leg pump right here. It actually helps my timing. Keeps me from being way out in front. Good pitch. Strike three. Woo! Boy, we got the benefit of that call, didn't we? Okay. Yeah, we got on top of it too much. Come on, Mason. Mason Wynn wears number zero because his favorite player was Ozzie Smith, and he wanted a number as close to Ozzie Smith as possible. One's retired, two's retired, three's taken, four is Yachty, that'll be retired, five is Pujols, that'll be retired. So he took zero. Six is retired. Almost all of our single digits are retired like the Yankees. Good pitch. And that snag the throw. All right, bottom of seven. He's only throwing nine pitches. Wow. Well. The new bar taking that false step that's over the wall anyway. I'm so tired of the false step in this game. I'm ready to boost reaction like. 20 points across the board. Reach over and get that. There has to be 25, 30 foul balls in this game already. This is fucking ridiculous how they run up the pitch count. <laughs> Throw it around the horn anyway. User error. Still got the out. Swinging through that. <clears throat> Another foul ball fest. Ooh. Thought I had him. Care if I walk him. That's fine.
Wow. Wasn't sure he was getting to that ball. <sighs> center fielder. Real center fielder needs to be high on our list at some point, too. Carlson can play center field, but he can't hit for shit. <coughs> Seven mile an hour sinker. Yeah, we're still looking up high. What's up, Revamp? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Get down. Nope, it's gonna get caught. It's, it's going okay. We uh, beat the Mets, and we were losing in this game and came back, took the lead, gave up a tying home run. I'm more focused on our scouting for the draft right now than the gameplay, but our pitching, our old-ass pitching is doing better than I expected. But uh, apparently this game thinks Arenado can't field any ground balls unless they're hit straight at him. And I have one thing to say about NCAA. Fuck those voters, man. One vote. Are you kidding me? I lost by one vote. Dude had 400 yards of offense and five touchdowns, and he loses by one vote. <clears throat> he had almost 3,000 yards of offense. 41 touchdowns. I'm not. I'm not upset that, uh, about Coles. Coles had a great season, man. I mean, if my guy wasn't there, putting up the numbers he had, I'd have been like, he deserved that. But Jesus Christ, what more do I have to do? I wasn't gonna win. I wasn't gonna win the league. I wasn't gonna get to a bowl game. So all I can do is, you know, try to get a an award. You know what's even worse? My guy Rolls Royce. First team all American kick returner doesn't win the jet. <laughs> I mean, Desmond Howard was wild, so I, I get him winning the jet, but why was he not first team all American? <clears throat> Need to go back and look, and maybe it's because Desmond was first team all American as a safety or corner, right? So they can't give him two. So I, I assume that's what the deal was. He got it as as a DB, so they're not going to give him both. But it still doesn't make any sense. There we go. Rolls-Royce had four kick return touchdowns, so that was good. That was fun. He had one against my uh, Florida, too. There we go. All right, guys. We got to get some runs, man. Yeah, I'm refing this weekend, so I ref late in the day tomorrow and then I have to get up at 5.30 Sunday morning because I need to leave by 6.45 to be where I need to be by 7.30 to start refing at 8. But at least I'll be done close to lunchtime on Sunday and then I got a 45 minute drive home. Um, so if you guys get your game in before then and we advance the week, I'll be, avail I'll be around for the uh, off season on Sunday night. And I've got six scholarships left to get to 25. And I think three of those are guys that I'm really going hard after. So we got to see. <clears throat> yeah, if you play next week, that's fine. I ref every day, Monday through Friday. But next weekend is the same thing. Next weekend, I ref club regionals on Saturday and Sunday. And I don't know if I have to go to Cape Girardeau. That's like an hour or 20 minutes south of here which means I would be gone Friday night, all day and night Saturday, all day Sunday, get back Sunday night. So hoping we get that off-season done before next weekend. Ah! Fuck.
Can't wait to uh, get that new quarterback in, Ricky Carter. 81 overall rook, uh, freshman QB. Hey, I wouldn't mind a little time off. I mean, we know it's probably going to be the last season before the new game comes out, right? Oh, don't swing at that shit. Come on, man. <clears throat> yeah. I just hope the new game gameplay isn't ass. Because if it is, the only streams you'll see from me is Sim Dynasty where we just recruit and build the team and play in and Sim. I'm not doing any Madden redo. Fuck Madden. Madden's bullshit. <coughs> the engine to play on NCAA 14 is great. Yeah, little chase. Um, they would just take that engine and put new graphics. Yeah, it, it, it is. It could be a lot better. How many pits is he throwing? 20? Yeah, he's got to come out. What do we got? Two lefties and a righty, huh? All right, JoJo's coming in. JoJo's hair is a little bit poofier than that. It looks like they gave him a white guy mullet and JoJo's Hispanic. He needs to have a little more poof to his hair. Yeah. Yep. The break tackled 900 where you can't tackle anybody on Heisman. If we could get perfect sliders and play on uh, All-American so there's less EA cheese. That would be great, but everybody gives you shit if you don't play on Heisman, right? There we go. It's like playing on All-Madden. Game's broke. It's not meant to be played on that level. Game isn't programmed to be playing that level. I mean, you gotta play in that level to be a challenge, right? But then you got to deal with all this bullshit in the game. Oof. That miss, that miss, that's the ball. Come on. Two down. <laughs> Broken bat. Get there, get there, get there. Throw it quick. Got him. All right. Extra innings. We got free baseball, guys. Free baseball. Your attention, your attention, please. Yeah, I hope so, too. Otherwise, I'll be playing a lot of this game over the summer instead. <laughs> Just missed. He's trying to drive that to right. Squeak out a run or two. We bring in Helsley to face Trout to start the, not, the next inning. Tenth. Let's go. Let's go. It's tardy. I don't feel tardy. Just 
just a piece of that. Let's go. Hang one. Like that. Ooh. Two bags on deck. There we go. Wynn's actually a stolen base threat, but he hasn't stolen enough in the majors for them to give him a good steal rating. Mm, no, no swing. Thank you. But that was high and inside, obviously. All right, Donovan hit a three-run shot back in the fifth, so... See if we can just find a gap and we'll send win. Okay, 84 speed, so anything in the gap and he's going all the way. <coughs> there you know. Goldie on deck. It, threw it right down the middle of the plate. Fuck. No ball. One strike. That missed. That's the ball. One ball. One strike. That's the game. Well, we wanted to face Trout, and we gave up a walk-off. Yeah, I, that's my expression, too. What the fuck? stats we almost you know, all of our hits in one inning <laughs> <clears throat> all right where are we all right so now we have to decide are we going to play against the cubs at home or the reds on the road so a bunch of minor leaguers getting hurt Jordan Walker tore his shoulder. He's out one to two months. <sighs> Fucking JoJo got pounded again. My God. Three walks and a home run. Bad thing is we don't have anything in the minor leagues to bring up.
what do we do? What do we do? Wow. All right. Where are we at standings wise? Five and a half games. We're at 500. Five and a half games out. We're top of the wild card, and we just lost one of our best players for two months. All right. We beat Boston. Beat up on their bullpen, Liam Hendricks. Arnado goes five, four for five with six RBIs and three runs. T two home runs. Uh, and lose five to four. Garrett Woodlock. Home run by Contreras. Sonny Gray got lit up. Bullpen did their job. All right, let's check our scouting. So this guy is uh, probably C potential, low 60s. So he's not, He's uh, he ended up on the lower end of the scale, so he's not worthy of worrying about. <clears throat> yeah, this guy doesn't hit enough. And this guy is... Overall, and his potential only separated by four, so he's going to go down. <clears throat> this is another guy. Can't field. Could be a decent hitter, but he can't field. Is he on my list to look at? <clears throat> uh, this guy can field. He can hit for power. That's about it. Do I have him on the list? No. Well, let's take a look at this guy. Maybe he turns out unlike the other dude. All right, so... Looking for... All right, so this is right here. Look, he had 1-1. One, one. And this is what happens with generational players. You guys talk, told me, I told you about Fiend Franchise over on YouTube and his video that shows you how to scout. He tells you the first week you scout these generational guys, they will drop and they won't look good. But then after you scout them um, all the way up, they will look excellent. They will be the generational player. So we'll see how he scouts as he goes forward. <clears throat> Any more NRs that we found? This guy, he's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, there's not found any good pitchers in the central. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch this guy. And we're going to go infield international. What's up, FG? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. We uh, we beat your Mets, and then I lost to the Angels on a walk-off by Trout in the 10th. 
No, he's still he just beat us with the Angels with a walk off home run. Uh, is he generational? Here, look. We've only got one week of scouting him, and he did exactly what you said they would do. They go down the first one, and then we'll wait to see if he comes back up this next week. All right? Because he was 67, 99, right? So we'll see. Um, and that uh, that right fielder we looked at, Benedict, he dropped. He's nothing special. He's a C potential. <clears throat> yeah, if he falls to seven, I'm going to laugh my ass off and run out of here with that pick. Um, and we're we're switching to infield on international. Benedict Arnold. <laughs> um, FG, look at this. We pick seventh, and then we don't pick again to the third round. So we, we're missing a – there's a huge hole where we could get another good pitcher early. So FG, check this out. I'm going to show you. These, uh, these are trades that I, I went through last night to see what would go through. To see what these teams would – so I could get Logan Gilbert and Harry Ford from the Mariners – for Goldschmidt, McGreevy, and Kyle Gibson. <clears throat> In which case, I would move Wilson Contreras to first base. All right. Here's another one. I could trade Goldschmidt, McGreevy, and another crappy pitcher and get Todd Bradley, Shane Baz, and Yandy Diaz. <clears throat> yeah and I could trade McGreevy and Goldschmidt and get Dylan Lesko Ethan Salas and Joe Musgrove <laughs> I already know how Salas plays because I'm watching Fiend go nuts with him with his Rockies draft only uh, franchise over on YouTube man Dude did nine home runs in spring training. He was a beast. <clears throat> um, yeah. This is a draft ahead with the A's. Look at this catcher who fell to me at seven or eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I got, I think Langoliers got hurt, so I had to call him up. So. Yeah. So. Um, if you didn't see it, right here, last game, Jordan Walker, left shoulder tear. He's out one to two months. And we have nothing in the minors because I'm not bringing up Victor Scott because he's not ready, can't hit. So he's out one to two months, and he was uh, hitting only 226, but he had 10 home runs. Um, I'm really thinking about moving him to first base if we trade away Goldschmidt, which means I need to get an outfielder. Um, here's our stats. Goldschmidt hitting 313, Gorman 282, Edmund 264, Donovan 310, Arnado. He was hitting like 213, so he's really raised his average. <clears throat> Lars, Contreras, Jordan's hurt. Mason Wynn, five home runs. Um, pitching, Sonny Gray's doing really well. Lance Lynn's got two shutouts. Gibson and Michaelis are the only two. Gibson's walks are just, ugh. He's got 71 walks per nine, but he's got... He's walking one guy every other inning. Um, bullpen's finally getting better. And uh, Helsley still has an ERA oh, north of seven. Um, trade block. 
Look at this contract for Brandon Nimmo. I know you're aware of it because you're doing the Mets, FG, but. There you go. Fiend, do you, uh, do you stream on, on, uh, do you stream on Twitch or is it just YouTube? I'll shout you out anyway. Yeah, you're not. Follow this guy on YouTube if you want to know how to fucking scout players, man. Duvall, I could get him. What would that cost? Carlson and Crawford. <laughs> yeah, no. This guy has done well in my other franchises I'm doing off stream, so <coughs> <coughs> he's a guy maybe for next year. Cincinnati, we're fighting with them for a playoff spot, so they're not going to trade with us. Here you go, FG. Jackson Holiday's on the trade market. <clears throat> what do they want for him? Helsley and Arenado. <laughs> Now, they have Westberg and Mayo or somebody else at third base. They don't need Arenado. They don't need Helsley because Batista is not hurt in this world. There's Carlson. We're going to have to play him. I don't want to, but we're going to have to play him. No other outfielders. You know what? We are just going to have to live with this injury and uh, hope Honestly, I hope I don't make the playoffs and we start tanking so I can make some trades at the deadline and get us a decent pick for next year. And I'll have all my picks for next year. Mason wins up playing, so maybe uh, we get an extra pick because he played all year. So, all right. And the Yankees want to trade us Carlos Rodon for Brandon Crawford. Don't want to do that deal because look at that contract. Yeah, no. He's already regressing. No. You're too stupid to sign him for that long. Um, box score. Cutter Crawford got beat up. Three hits for Dylan Carlson. Home run by Arnado and Carpenter. Carp's playing some outfield. Kyle Gibson pitched great. Uh, we're going to play either one of the, one of these games against the Cubs or one against the Reds. So you guys tell me which game you want me to play. Home against the Cubs or at Cincinnati. And we're trying to tank and we keep winning. Home run by Arenado, Stephen Matz, eight shutout innings. And we lose 7-3. to three. Mullins, Rutschman, O'Hearn with home runs. Corbin Burns shoved on us. Home run by Carpenter. Michaelis got lit the fuck up. Ellie Day of the Cruz, all right. <coughs> and we lose 7-1. to one. Two home runs by Rutschman means, I told you, for a veteran. If you want to get a veteran pitcher, his walks are low, like his rating is low. But he doesn't give up hits. His home runs are pretty decent. He's he's a good guy to get to just fill in the bottom of your rotation for a cheap veteran. So, and uh, Ryan Fernandez, the Rule Five guy, came in and got pounded. Not good. All right. Here, let's look at the other injuries because he's he's still got weeks to go. Rockies lost Elias Diaz to a torn MCL. He's old enough he'll probably retire at the end of the year. Trevor Story's out one to two months. Bo Naylor's out one to two months. Riley Green's been out for a few weeks. He'll be back soon. Reagan's is out. Lugo's out. These two guys were both out for one to two months. Altuve was out. Months, so now he's back to weeks. <clears throat> Crawford's out one to two months. Spencer Strider got hit in the head with a line drive, and he's out for the season. 66 strikeouts in 58 innings, a 153 ERA, 8-0 in nine starts, and he is done for the year. 
<coughs> well, he's not going to be winning the Cy Young this year, is he? Wow. He's been out for a while. J1 Bay. Wow, Spencer Strider got hit in the head. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. That's that's rough. All right, calendar. So we're going to play here so I can sim through the Cubs. All right, so we can get more scouting in. So keep on the injured list. We beat the Cubs 4-3. to three. Bellinger hit two home runs for all of their RBI. Paul Goldschmidt with a home run. Sonny Gray pitched well again. Kittredge gets the win. JoJo gets the save. And we win 8-5. to five. Guys, you're winning too much. I mean, we have a good lineup. It's just the pitching. Horner and Wisdom with home runs. Hendricks got beat up pretty good. Home run by Goldschmidt. He doesn't want to get traded. I tried to re-sign him in the, in the uh, spring training, but he wouldn't sign. <laughs> Gibson got beat up, but the rest of the guys pitched well. All right, I'm going to save right here before we go into scouting. Okay, now. All right, Cutler. He's got a bat, does not have a glove. <clears throat> so he dropped from 22 down to 14. So he keeps dropping. We might have a possibility if the pitchers are not there. Now we have other other hitters. Uh, is, he, is he a left fielder? This guy, Peter Vigna. This guy's a really good hitter. Got a lot of speed, just can't field. Um. So he looks like he's a high B, low A, right? Right around 70 overall, roughly. Left-handed bats, 21 years old. So he could be in, in play for seven as well. We didn't find any international infielders. Let's go central. All right, let's go look at our pitchers. There's Boyle. So he's back up to 10 now. So, he's either going to make a big jump after this week or I'm 100% wrong. But his potential went up. It was 69, right? Now it's up to 70. So, the potential is creeping up. It's just the overall. So, I guess we'll see after we get through. This guy's a 22-year-old, so he's going to be a B potential in mid-70s. He's not going to have much of a ceiling to him he's going to be what he is but he could at least step in and probably start for us like right away but I don't want to do that with the first pick unless I absolutely have to <coughs> who on uh, on Boyle 77 generational <clears throat> we'll see how he goes after this week. So what we're going to do, we did the central there. This is week eight. So we got two more weeks of central scouting for pitchers. No, three more weeks, right? Eight, nine, ten. Three more weeks. Because he's 19, so he should get close to 100% scouted. And that'll give us four weeks to go back for individuals. Um, dude, I'm going to shout you out every time you come in here because there are people who don't always watch every single one of my things, but they need to watch this video if they're struggling at all. If they are struggling at all to, to um, scout for the draft, I'm just going to give you free pub forever, man, because you made my life so much easier in this game. There you go. Go watch that video. Watch it later, but watch that video. Bookmark it. Watch it again until you understand what the hell he's talking about. I think I've watched that video at least three times. 
So, in fact, Fiend, I have seen other content creators that now will do uh, Discovery when they were shitting on Discovery before. <laughs> Like the Aunt Ortiz, for example. <laughs> All right. We're four and a half games out of division. And we're in the number two wild card. So we may not be selling at the at the deadline. Yep. I just saw that the other day. It's good. It's good, man. Don't just shit on something until you try it out, right? And you did all the hard work to figure it out, so... All right. And we lose three to two. So we lose two out of three to the Cubs. Seiya Suzuki with a home run. Tyon pitched really well. Pete Crow's playing center field. Spread out all our hits. Matt's, eh. He doesn't have much uh, durability. Zach Thompson's pitching well in long relief, though. All right. So we can go Sonny Gray against Lodolo. Lance Lynn against Hunter Green, or Michaelis against Brandon Williamson. And I would rather do one of these two games. And I'm thinking we're going to do the Sunny Gray game because, one, it's a day game, and two, we haven't done Sunny since opening day. So. And we lose 3-2. to two. Michaelis pitched okay. TJ Friedel with a home run. Williamson pitched great. And we lose five to three, so now we gotta keep from getting swept. Mason win with a home run. Gorman, three more hits. <laughs> Alright, let me save so we can get in here and play this game. Um and Fiend, remind me, please remind me. I need to show you the Rockies franchise that I've done. I want to show you that generational player and the other dude I got. With the supplemental first round pick. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it right now before I forget. I wanted to show this to you last time. Where are we? We are in the playoffs. Number one seed. We won 97 games. And this is year... Look at that. Lost the uh, wild card. We lost in the World Series in six. Riley Green, 321 with 35 homers, 113 RBIs, batting leadoff. This is that generational player, Juan Trejo. He was an 81 overall at 18 years old. <clears throat> He came up and played the last two months of the season and almost got Rookie of the Year. He finished third. He had 13 home runs in 47 games. Kind of fell back his second year. He got hurt that season. And then ever since then, 47 homers, 42 homers with 55 doubles. <laughs> he's, he's, he's paid through arbitration, so I'm going to have to pay him. He has no quirks. But he was the 2030 MVP, Gold Glove, Hank Aaron, Silver Slugger twice, All-Star twice, Home Run Champion twice. He's 22 years old. <laughs> this is the other guy we drafted in that same draft. <clears throat> he was someone we discovered. So he was an NR, and I think he was like 17 or something like that. He was a low on our board, you know, high up on our board, but he was an NR. He was a discovered player that we took like 33rd, 36th, whatever that second pick was we had. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah. And this is what he's done. He was rookie of the year right here. And then look at that. So we got both of those guys back to back in the same draft. They're both 22 years old. <laughs> we're going to have to pay both of them at the same time, and that's okay. I don't mind. He does have a quirk. Usually you don't see drafted players with quirks, right? But he got one. And he was rookie of the year, and he made the all-star game. Traded for Colt Keith. Traded for India. Look at that, 33 with 102. He loves Coors. I kept Nolan Jones. Uh, 
Um, look at this guy. So his strikeouts are low. His pitching clutch is low. But 155 hits in 200 innings. 262 ERA in Coors, 118 games. So that's why I was saying keep the that hit per nine high, walks per nine high, and home runs at a reasonable place. And you don't have to have strikeouts and cores if they can limit the hits, man. And then this guy's 27. I think I traded for him. But still, 187 hits. <clears throat> I traded for this guy with Texas. Here's Chase Dolander. He struggled. I cannot get him to pitch well at all. No matter what I do. He had one decent season, but it's, he's, he's got more hits than innings pitched. I can't get him to do anything. And he's an 87. He's an 87, and he just won't perform. There's another guy I drafted. He's, eh. Uh, just drafted this guy. 23 years old, he's 84. Um, it's another guy we drafted 22 years old and he's an 83 just called him up uh, late in the season there's Nick Sandlin remember I told you about Sandlin look at this so we traded for him here made him our closer and for some reason I split closing and then he just got lit up that season but then back to a 120 and a 250 so he just had one anomaly in there. Everything else has been excellent. And look, 98 hits per nine, 97 pitching clutch, 91 home runs per nine. Yeah. 120 ERA, 105 ERA. He gave up nine runs and four home runs. So, yeah. I drafted Dino Rosa. Great pitching clutch. This guy would be a great closer. Um, drafted Pablo Doe. Leland Evans. I mean, we just drafted so many pitchers. Here's another one. This guy's 19 years old. Another 19-year-old pitcher. 18-year-old A that's sitting in an A-ball. <laughs> we have so many pitchers. This guy was, I think he was a closer and I moved him to setup. Yeah. There's another closer, another closer. Yeah, this team is, is just filthy. Oops. Yeah. All right. So. Back to gameplay. We're going to play this game, and I'm going to sim through this date so we can check our scouting one more time. And then the next time I stream, which will probably be next week, um, and I don't know when because I have to ref high school volleyball Monday through Friday next week, and I have club regionals this weekend and next weekend, so it's going to be a little hit or miss. Um and I probably need to go back and stream uh, college football next. So we will see. Um, if I stream MLB during the week next week, it's going to be early in the day because I have to leave here at 3 o'clock to go to where I need to go to go ref. So, <clears throat> All right. Let's get this game played. All right, what kind of uniforms do we have here? We got their custom ones. There's alternate, City Connect. I wish those letters were not black. That's the uniform I grew up with them wearing. <coughs> Let's go with this one. And we'll wear the baby blues. 
I have been to this park. Set way up in the upper deck down the left field line, almost up the edge of the of the seating up there. <coughs> Ellie's hitting 189 and he's leading off. Yeah, I saw the Reds play the Brewers, and the Brewers put up like 10 runs in the first three innings, so then we just spent the rest of the game walking around the stadium checking it out. Nick Lodolo, five and a half ERA. That's not good. All right, Tommy. At least he hits lefties well. Out beyond where those flags are, there's a bridge. It's a walkway bridge. It's not a... There we go. Inside the line, that'll be a double. It's not a... You don't drive your car over. You walk over it. <clears throat> so we parked across the river in Kentucky and then walked over. All right, Lars. Must be the shoes. You guys probably don't remember those. Spike Lee commercials from the 80s with uh, Michael Jordan. Ellie boots an easy ground ball up the middle. Two pitches. Got men at the corners already. Mm, goalie. Well, that'll get a run home. <clears throat> All right. Quit swinging at the first pitch now. Lars cannot steal. Good pitch. I want it up and in right here. Right here. Inner half. Just a little bit in case he wants to throw it low in the zone. All right, three and two. Lars is not going. There we go. Slap that in the left field. Already hitting better than we did last game. <clears throat> Eleven pitches. Two hits, an air, RBI, there's another hit, down into the corner, that gets by, that's going to score two, there we go, bad defense, jumping on him early, that's going to get down also. Off the wall, my goodness. It's batting practice. There's only one out. Carlson kills lefties. He should bat right-handed all the time because he's absolutely terrible against... Wow. He's absolutely terrible batting left-handed. He should just stay right-handed and just give up switch hitting. You'd probably have a better career. Oof, that was a nasty slur. I saw that hanging, and then it just snapped off at the end. swing happy but he's he's throwing shit in the strike zone so Woo. I thought he rung me up up the middle what a snag 
voiceover today. Hey, no problem. Do what you gotta do, man. Appreciate you coming in. I'll be uh, I'll be watching the next one when it comes out. All right, highly productive first thing. Let's see how Sunny Gray can do with this. Easy fly ball. Come on, Newt. Got it. Way out in front of that one. I'm gonna try to get him a chase. Get him, throw it. There we go. All right. Easy first. You guys who watched me play the uh, A's and Rockies last year. Uh-oh. Mason Wynn, go yard. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Gone. <laughs> get up, baby. Get up, get up. You guys who watched me play last year, remember how I pitched with Aaron Nola? That's how I feel when I pitch with Sonny Gray. <clears throat> that was a rocket. <clears throat> I was out in those nasty natty seats. Man, we are just crushing the shit out of Lodolo today. Ground rule double into the corner. Tommy Edmond with two doubles already. He's got to be out of the game. Yeah. He is not missing any bats. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now now pitching for the red. Number number 47. Frankie. Frankie. And before anybody asks, we're on Hall of Fame and legend, so Nothing's changed. Couldn't buy a hit the first two games, and I can't stop hitting in this game. That's a deep fly ball. At least get us to third base. Nope. Not deep enough. Sorry. It's got speed, but that was too shallow. If that was back by the warning track, he'd have gone to third for sure. <clears throat> Come on, Goldie. Man, my allergies are killing me. Got to be more patient. I know we're up 5 nothing, but I'm just swinging to swing, you know. Come on, Gorman. Hit a bomb. See the pitch. Don't just swing. Put myself in a hole and then I gotta swing at shit that's close. There we go, Mason win. Two. 
on Dylan. There we go. All right, rolling right along. Let's see if we can get Heimer Candelario. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's inside. Got him. Oh, tried to take that to right. Ended up being way late. Let's go. That's in the corner, and the hit parade continues. We're going to mess around and make the playoffs and lose in the first round. <laughs> Take the walk, thank you. Come on, Dylan. Earn your paycheck, buddy. There we go. <coughs> All right, bases loaded, nobody out. Come on, Donovan, let's go. Guys, refresh your stream. It's lagged just a touch. Ah! Oh, it got through. Go. Send them. Get down. There we go. Seven nothing. The win homeward last time. Good pitch. The better we hit with win, the better his uh, improvement's going to be, and we might get an extra first round, late first round supplemental pick. Wild pitch brings in another. Eight to nothing in the third with nobody out. My. God. Just a little late on that pitch. Two bags. Got two doubles already. 
Third time up in three innings. Too anxious. <coughs> Shit, this reliever's already got 27 pitches. Come on. Hit over the top, go foul, thank you. Get out of play. Get out of play. Get out of play. Thank you. Is that over his head? No, it's going to get caught. All right. Extend that lead. It's not even, no, he must be DH. That's right. Hunter Capel used to be with the Cardinals. Roger Clemens is his uh, godfather. He made his major league debut. Clemens was in St. Louis, and they had him on between innings to talk about it. Got him. That's nine up and nine down. <laughs> That's going to be in the corner for a double. There we go, Goldie. Get in there, get in there. Got too much on top of that, didn't get it in the air. why they play that noise in the stadium. Since you're nasty natty were in here, they could tell me, oh, don't swing at that garbage. Uh, Nolan, your turn. Oh, fucking way out in front. Stadium noises this year are a little all over the top and out of control. Piece of that. Come on, hang one, Frankie. Just battling. Let's go. Fuck. 
That was terrible. Got him. Ring him up. Yes! <sighs> Got him. That's 12. <laughs> What am I swinging at? My goodness. Pitch wasn't even in the right state, much less the strike zone. of swing, jeez. Can't stay back. Mason.
Jammed me. Good pitch. All right. Got him. Fifteen boys, fifteen. Ah, good pitch. Good pitch. Terrible swing. Good pitch. Fuck, I was just late. Right down the pipe. Come on, Rick. Wow, what a pitch. Thought that was inside. This guy's carving me up. I don't know if that's got enough carry or not. To the wall. Sixteen in a row, fiend. Sixteen in a row. <laughs> Seventeen.
Let's go. Let's go. And he dumps it into right center to break up the perfect game. Nah, you're fine. God, Contreras is just garbage behind the plate. Paint the corner, my goodness. All right, now I can not be so nervous when I'm pitching. I was nervous from like the fourth inning on. Unlike the uh, perfect game with Nola where I didn't get nervous till like the eighth or ninth inning. Mostly because we had to score runs later in that game to take the lead. This one, the game was pretty much over in the first inning. So then it became, you know, hey, can I, can I throw another no-no? God, how did I miss that pitch? <laughs> I'm going to hit a home run with this guy so bad. I don't think that's enough. That's to the track. <laughs> Be nice if they could bring somebody else in. I'm tired of this guy. Sinus drain, it's just killing me. There we go. He's only going to get a single because he's so damn slow in this game. track all right nine ounce to go hey, hey. and that's gone <clears throat> there goes a shutout that was a fastball up and away and he pulled it for a home run I still don't know why we have a, an echo in this game. I haven't quite figured it out. I took care of it last time, but it's back, and I, I don't know why. <clears throat> and it's not like picking up my, C, my computer speakers aren't being picked up by the microphone. Because I muted the microphone, and we still had the problem. So I don't know. I give up. It's, it's a Streamlabs problem. Somebody different. Love me a high fastball.
That'll drop. That'll drop. Nope. 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 <coughs> that was gonna just float in there, but no. I have noticed a few more uh, soft hits that'll drop in front of the outfielders this year. I still don't have enough hard hits to the gap that get all the way to the wall, though. Without the fielder making a stupid diving attempt and missing the ball. Come on, Mason, we need another hit. I don't care what kind of hit, we just need another hit. Walk would be good, too. Trying for a second one of the day. Is that enough? Is that going to get there? No. Too high. Too high. All right, Tommy, two bags. You had two doubles to start the day and nothing since. Nope. And nothing again. All right, six more outs. I gotta look at his pitch count and see where Gray's at. Seventy-three. We should be able to finish this game with him. Yeah, that's another hit. <clears throat> What we don't want to do is mess up his stats by trying to throw a complete game, so. Let's see if he likes this slider. Thank you. Slur, whatever that is. High fastball, we're going to come back with the 12 6. Nah, I missed my spot. We're still going to throw a high fastball because I want to set up this curveball. be his last batter probably <clears throat> on Newt get there all right Sonny Gray's done we're not gonna mess up his good start Stopped hitting after they uh, brought in Sims. He kind of screwed up my timing hitting. There we go. Base hit for Goldie. <clears throat> Let's go. On Nolan. Ah, trying to hold up. Trying to hold up. I flinched. 
My bad. Love, would love for this guy to be my uh, Corey Seager when I had him on Colorado. Just hitting bombs right and left. Man, I chase. I'm not going to hit bombs chasing garbage like that. That's all right. Huge lead. Let's finish this game off. Go get some more scouting. to the ninth <clears throat> lefty ready ready let's use Kittredge because I haven't pitched with him all year One down. Nope. Nope. There we go. Make a chase. One more out. How did he miss that ball? How did he dive over the ball? Arnado's horrible in this game defensively. Here we go. Cardinals win. Everybody had a hit for the Cardinals. There we go. Mason win with a home run. We had two, four, five, six doubles in that game. Sonny Gray, 10 Ks, only three hits, one walk. Freaking Lodolo, eight hits, five earned runs in one inning. <laughs> yeah, we kind of uh, shoved on that game, didn't we? All right. I'm going to have fun pitching with Sonny for the next two-plus seasons, so... We may get us another no-no before we're done. And we lost an outfielder for two to three months in the minors. Tigers want to trade us Jack Flaherty for Dylan Carlson. No. We got rid of Flaherty for a reason. And yeah, I'd love to trade Carlson, but I don't want Flaherty back. So, no. Oh, Phillies. We win five to three. Edmund and Gorman with two home runs. Steals by Contreras and Wynn. Gibson pitched okay. Bullpen pitched great. With 29 and 28. And we lose 8 to 4. So back to 500. Mats pitched like crap. The Rule 5 guy pitched like crap. Before we get into scouting here, <coughs> four games behind the Cubs. 
And now we're a half game behind because the Rockies, Giants, and Diamondbacks are all running up here. So, yeah. We need to go on a losing streak if we want to sell at the deadline and get a pick. We need to go on a winning streak if we want to get up to the top of the wild card. All right, Goldschmidt, 333 with 10 and 34. Remember, at one point, he had three home runs and four RBIs. Gorman, 9 and 40. Donovan, hitting 315. Edmund, 5 and 11. Arnado, 10 and 30. Lars isn't hitting for power. Contreras is okay. Mason wins. I think I can beat you. I don't play people head to head online. I think it's the worst part of the game is playing head to head online. You think you can beat me? I don't think you can beat me. I think I could pitch against you and probably throw a shutout. Now, it would be a matter of who could score. I pitch on legend, so pitching is easily my strongest suit. Carlson, but I don't play head to head. I don't even play my own kid head to head. Um, Carlson up to 292, so he's playing well while he's in there. Walker still has weeks to go. Crawford, eh, look at Carpenter. Um, Sunny Gray, 216. There we go. Yeah, you think so? Well, we'll never know because I don't play any head to head. Part of the problem is the lag. I hate fucking playing online because the lag is terrible. Uh, let's see. 280s. So bullpen's gotten much better. Giovanni, remember, he was way up there. This guy, he's a Rule 5 guy. I'd love to offer him back, but it won't let me. And I can't send him to the minors and offer him back. I just don't know what is wrong with Helsley. Oh, let's see. That. Let's go to scouting. And there we go. Cutler. He dropped to 10, so he could be a possibility. Looks like he's going to be B potential somewhere in the 60s, right? Mid-60s with B potential. Definitely can hit. Can't field. Get a lot of that. <clears throat> Six three two eight, Nice size. So, yeah. So Cutler's on the list. I already have him written down. <clears throat> All right. So let's look at another hitter. Anybody close? There's another guy. He can't hit. He's all speed. This guy, he's 21. His splits are not very big, so... Ooh, we found a second baseman, but he's all glove and speed. Damn. There's another 21-year-old. At least his splits are better. Good speed and deep. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, check this guy out. Man. If this dude could hit at all, he's six five second baseman. Lord, <laughs> move him to third base. Um, I'm gonna try Bell out at center field. Yeah, uh, we discovered four infield prospects, so let's go look at that. So we found this guy. Just can't hit. Non-ranked, non-ranked. This is probably B potential dude in the 40s. And a non-ranked shortstop. Let's let's go check the outfield. And we're at week nine, right? So nine and ten. We got two more weeks to scout these pitchers. All right, Boyle's back up to number. His overall, his potential's up to 73. Remember, he started at, what, 66, 65? And his overall dropped, and now it's back up. 
and those numbers are creeping. So where's he at? 50%. So yeah, in two weeks, we should know for sure. This guy's hits and control. He's got great velocity. His per nines are not great. Great velocity. Throws everything over 90 except his curveball. Even his changeup's 91. Mora's a guy. He's in the east, so we're going to have to manually scout him. This guy, it's just his hits per nine, which sucks. But And this guy... It's hits in his control. <clears throat> I can't count on this guy being there. I hope he is, but I can't count on it. So here's another guy. Yeah. Too much red. This guy's not bad. His strikeouts to home runs kind of suck, though, so... Good hits per nine. Good walks per nine. I'm not getting this guy. I have to scout him more to see what he would be. Man, there's so much red. This guy fell off a cliff. Found Fabio. I'd like to scout him just to see what happens with him. 21 year old closer. His only weakness is walks. Everything else is pretty good. <coughs> All right, scout international outfielders. We got two more weeks to figure out if that guy is generational or not. And then we're going to go back. I'm, I'm definitely going to go back and scout this guy. He's 21, so it should only take one week to figure out if he's going to be on the list or not. Let me write some other guys down. Eighty to ninety-nine. All right. Where are we at calendar-wise? All right. So we're on June second, and we're at five hundred. So tread and water. That's the way it goes. So when we come back next time, um, we will see. I want to play at Wrigley, so we'll probably play a game at Wrigley. Um, maybe play at home against Colorado, play at Wrigley, and then play the Braves. Especially since they don't have Spencer Strider. All right. I think it's going to be it, guys. Who's on? Who can we go to? Man Cave. All right. I'm going to send you someone that's not doing baseball, but you're going to have fun over at Man Cave. He does NCAA football. He's a really nice guy, a really good guy. Have a lot of fun in his stream. So we'll go. We will go um, raid him because he loves to watch my baseball streams um, while he's doing other stuff. So we're going to go hit up Man Cave. Get that ready to go. And when you guys are ready, we'll head on over there. And again, thank you guys for uh, stopping by today. And uh, we'll get closer to the draft. Got one more whole month of scouting, and then we'll be ready to jump on the draft and the All-Star game and trade deadline and all that stuff. So stay tuned. All that will be next week. So you guys take care. I will see you over in Man Cave Stream. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.